I first moved here 20 years ago, I designed and built a solar heating system for the building. And that used at that time four large eight, four by eight foot solar collectors. Solar collectors are about heating water and the water would heat up and it would get stored in the 40 or 80 gallon storage tank inside the building. So uh, that system became less and less efficient. It was, I, it's backed up by propane and there's a propane boiler that basically heats any water that didn't get hot enough with solar. So the goal, the design goal of that system was to get 140 degree Fahrenheit water into the two radiators upstairs and into the radiant floor downstairs. I learned over the years that I was using way too much propane and the solar was not making a big enough contribution. And then, just recently this year, I put a uh, mini split heat pump in my house and another one right here in the workshop. So they are so much more efficient than solar thermal that I decided it's time to cut loose those solar collectors. So I literally came out here with a saw, cut them down, took them down, removed them, and put these solar PV photovoltaic panels up. So now I have five 375 watt solar panels that I'm hoping will offset the power of the two mini split heat pumps that I've installed. So truth will tell, I don't know, I mean, because there's a limited range of amount of hours of sun here. Uh, there's trees that are shading the panels right now and I'm going to cut some of those trees down and top them with my neighbor's blessing because that's the windrow that is right behind the camera. Um, the two solar panels you see sticking out from the wall up there were added on to the much larger solar array that's on my roof which consists of 28 solar panels over here. These two I added, um, I, as I've been adding solar panels incrementally over the years, these two were a separate add-on, which you can do with this, this type of system because each solar panel has its own microinverter, meaning that at the panel, there's a little black box that you saw underneath the solar panels that converts the power to 240 volts and that all gets fed right into the building. So I can just add one panel at a time, which a lot of solar systems don't allow you to do. You, can, you can't, once you've designed it all, you can't just add panels willy-nilly. I bought all of the panels from one place. The, everything that I put on the roof, that means the rails, the microinverters, the solar panels, all the nuts and bolts came from a company in Massachusetts called Alt-E. So I called them up several weeks ago, called up Ben, who's my account manager, and I said, look, this is what I'm doing. I want to put 2,000 watts more or less on my roof. Uh, I see you have a certain number of panels that, you know, probably five panels will fit on my roof go ahead and give me a quote on what I need. Their uh, nickname or their little brochure term is making renewable doable. And what Ben did was he just took my vague description of what I wanted and put together an entire kit. Everything, every nut, bolt, and screw, all the bolts, all the parts, everything. So all I had to do was put them up. I mean, it's just that simple. And of course, I'm experienced at it as a solar installer, but um, it's really sweet that you can go to one place and get everything, plug and play. The, the primary goal of this solar installation is to try and get me off of propane. So I have disconnected the propane heater except as a backup. So there's no longer any solar contribution to the building from solar thermal standpoint. It's, it's the propane is there strictly as a backup. The other reason that I have these tanks here is for my automatic propane standby generator. This solar installation is entirely grid-tied, so if the grid goes down, all of those solar panels have to shut down by federal law so they can't feed power back into the grid. I don't have a battery backup. Some people would, and it's expensive, and I'm not ready to go there, so I have a propane generator. When the power goes out, I count to 15, the generator kicks in, the lights come back on again. It's the little Faustian bargain of burning propane, you know, to have a backup power system, and one day I'll be able to afford a battery, and I can't right now. It was, it was the best cost, performance, price trade-off at the time, which was 15 years ago, and that generator's got over a thousand hours on it now. Above the circuit breaker box here, I originally installed a power monitor so I can see the live statistics of the performance of the entire solar array, 35 solar panels on my roof in various locations. So that's 3,800 watts around noon today. This one is showing 1500 watts or so 
for the five panels I just added, so they're contributing significantly to the output of the whole system.